People come up to me in shackles. Like, just take me. I've done the hard work. <laughs> the cage is back there. Just put me in. You know, love has taken me to some pretty dark places. But Los Angeles has got to be as dark as it gets. So, season two. First of all, just how would you describe it? Because everybody's so excited for it. Is that a tough um, question? Darker, gorier, no, no. I, more dangerous? <laughs> I mean, I guess it is those things. I, yeah, it, it is those things. But I feel like ultimately, in terms of those devices, the gore, the darkness, it's, it's, it's the same show in a good way. Like, you know what you're getting. But really what's different is, um, are these two characters, these two women, uh, Candace and Love, they, they represent something that basically was absent from the first season. In Candace, you have the irrefutable fact that Joe's a murderer, right? I love no one likes to call him that. Everyone loves to say stalker. He's not just a stalker. So you have Candace, who is just basically to him this mystifying, impossible, th you know, it's like, how do, how is she? Because how am I? Like, I don't understand that. So he's got to grapple with that. Hello. You? Love. It's nice to meet you, Love. So very special. And then Love, the character of Love, who um, is essentially the polar opposite of Beck in that she wants to be with Joe. He's not pursuing her in the same way. It's a, it's a, it, it is a different dynamic. So the fact that he is a predator, the fact that he is delusional, has all these different sort of manic compulsions. They're all just challenged in a, you know, I think in a very different way. So, so you see him struggling with himself, I hope, in a new, in a new way. Candace is back. What can fans expect from that? She really shakes him up, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like even just in the first episode, you see him at a level of uh, what's the word? It's not just disturbed. He's like, it's like more than disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, you know, I just like the, 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 the way that I make Joe grapple with Candace is, is sort of like, is sort of like, uh, like, like he's suffering the world's most unjust persecution. I mean, it's, you know, that's not the case. <laughs> What do you want, Candace? You did it again, didn't you? Look, I know people tweet you this stuff like, want you to kidnap me. Do mm. they say that in real life or people coming up to you? Please kidnap me. No. <laughs> people come up to me in shackles. Like, just take me. I'm ready. I've done the hard work. The trunk's open. <laughs> the cage is back there. Just put me in. If fans are going to tweet you, sometimes responded, what should they tweet you? What might catch your eye this time? You usually correct them, hey, he's a murderer. Yeah. Well, you know, I think I'd, I'm, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to tweak my approach because I didn't I didn't ever mean to be correcting people you know in that way like I didn't mean but um, it was it was interesting I think the the, the media response last year w was very interesting to see and I'm, I'm actually to me the whole point of this show is that it has to be, be like just it is this viral kind of thing yeah. so it, it it's this conversation piece this social experiment so I'm I'm not sure because <laughs> last time I did it I literally like was sipping on a coffee and like shot some tweets off in <laughs> six minutes and then suddenly it was like this viral thing and then and the, yeah so i mean you know okay this time two coffees at this point do people come up to you more for gossip girl fandom or for you obsession joe is challenging dan's legacy i'll say that pretty quickly so you'll pick me up at eight you really go out with some guy you don't know well you can't be worse than the guys i do know well gossip girl is getting a new life could Dan Humphreys get a new life? Could we see him appear at all? Could Dan Humphrey? I don't, you know, that's, again, these things are, um, I, uh, that's a, that's a, that's a message I gotta put at the top of my inbox, you know, okay. to, 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 to think about. Um, I've not had conversations with any of the creators yet. Would you be willing to bring Dan Humphrey back? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty clear that, like, I've mm -hmm. never been necessarily the greatest friend or fan of Dan Humphrey, which now I reconcile in this way that I'm like, you know, I would love to um, contribute in a meaningful way to it. And I, I guess it would just it would just depend on a lot of things. It would depend on how and why he's there. Okay. And I don't know, like, d is it even, yeah, I don't know. I guess he's there be, to murder would, someone? That would be. <laughs> <laughs>
The show does come out pretty close to the holidays. We just want you to give the fans some advice. How do you binge it? How do you keep the holiday spirit up? Do you watch it with family? Get just, them through. Just have a lot of water nearby. Okay. Um, a lot of vitamin C. Uh, get the right amount of sleep. You know, I mean, I, I know we love to binge, but... Um... Okay, keep healthy. <laughs>